Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone had a good day. Settle in. Let's play a little bit of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Now we left off, we had a bunch of chickens. There were some new chores for me to do. Harry Hermit wanted me to talk to him. I'm sure there were other things that I just can't recall. Let's get on with it. Let's load up our game here. Oh, that's pretty. That's nice and serene. All right. Oh, that's right. We need to we need to talk to the tablet again, so we get a bunch of new quests. Like maybe we'll get a chance to build some homes for everybody. New targets materialize on the tablet. Build lots of different rooms. Build a restaurant. Build a room somewhere up high make lots of meadows well we're not really there but we can get there make lots of forests make lots of water find more residents might have to go one of those new islands light up the island cool build a farm we need to do that build lots of fields bunch of question marks make all sorts of food okay Harry Hermit shows up and says, Well, Snail, did your heart start beat, beat, beating faster when you check, check, check the tablet again? It's been filled with you, you, all your new ideas. Goodness me, said Lulu. That's a lot of new targets you've come up with. You really are a builder through and through. Did I write those or did the tablet write those? Ho, 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 says Harry Hermit. The best, best best builders have the loftiest ambitions should you choose to follow these optional targets this island will pick pick picturesque paradise before you know it hmm no it's too late for video games your mama said okay if I go up and ask her what's she gonna tell me Okay, well remember we're going to bed here in a little bit. Excuse me? Yes. Should you choose to follow those optional targets, this island will be pick, pick, picturesque paradise before you know it. They do 10, 10, 10 to take a while though, but don't feel like you have to begin right away. They'll be red, red, ready and waiting for you whenever you have the time. As for me, I'll be waiting for you at the top of the mountain. Pop, pop, pop on up whenever you're ready for a new task. I wonder what this new task could be. Is it something to do with these new targets? You think? Or something completely different? Look at all those tablet targets. If you're ever at loose ends and as to what to build on the Isle of Awakening, why not give one of the targets a go? So I can set them, maybe? Build a restaurant. Well, we need to build a farm. Looking after livestock is a nightmare when they wander away. Grow some wheat grass in a fenced off field and you'll have a paddock and you'll have a paddock to keep them in one place. Okay. If you're wondering where to get wheatgrass, sail to Blossom Bay. Well, <laughs> I was wondering where to get wheatgrass. Okay. Alright, Malroth, what's up? That old hammer hood told us to haul it up to the mountain and to the temple. Shall we go see what he wants? Asks Malroth. I want to hear what that mad monster has to say, too. I intend to be right beside you when he spills the beans, says Lulu. Alright then, Snail. Let's all go up together and hear what he has to say, says Malroth. Well, you know what we can do? We can teleport. And that's what we'll do. Where did Malroth go? Oh, there he is. 
I should congratulate you again on tick tick ticking off those targets on the tablet, Snail. Congratulations, says the hairy hermit. As you are well aware, this island is yours and yours alone. You are free to build whatever you like and whack, whack, whack it down wherever you like, with whomever you like. You heard me right. You're already familiar with the notice board, but there's another way to con con connect with other builders across the space time continuum. Oh, we did this. We went and visited Rose's farm. There are many others out there who share the same creative passion as you. But how to track, track, track them down? Why, multi-builder mode, of course. Do you remember where you, you and Malroth thump, thump, thump that fat rat on the night you arrived here? Well, it just so happens that the cave is home to a magical portal that can whisk, whisk, whisk you away to the home of other builders. going on here Harry mm -hmm. Hermit says if that tick tick tickles your fancy you should head down to that cave and embark bark bark on your main journey through the space time teleportal well, I don't understand where are they going now they just came to dance bye Bye. And if you lavish some attention on the area around the teleportal, any visitors will be in for a treat or a shock, shock, shock when they arrive. Or I could scare them when they when they show up. So if I understand you correctly, we can use this portal to bring in other builders who will help us build Lulutopia together. Asks Lulu. And Snail can visit other people's islands and steal some great ideas for making my empire of evisceration even more deadly, says Malroth. I can think of fewer things more enjoyable than building buildings and bash bash bashing blocks with all one's friends, exclaims Harry Hermit. You should give it a go. Right. Now we've got 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 that out of the way. I'd say that it's high time you bolt bolt bolted off to a new island in search of fresh adventures. Go and speak with the captain on the dock, dock, dock. A little bird tells me he has some top, top, top notch news for you. A new destination has been added. If you ever want to learn more about multi builder mode, you only have to ask. Rock, rock, rock up here and talk to me anytime you like, says the hairy hermit. Okay. I don't really want to do multi builder. I don't want to I don't want to talk about that. I want here's a here's a mini metal. Oh ho ho, have the mini metals tick tick tickled your fancy? It's good to know we share a com com common interest. You see, I'm rather an avid collector of mini metals. I'll even swap, swap, swap them for my treasures. I'm, we've read this many times. I've got two mini metals. Take them. I've brought a total of six mini metals to him, and I have to find ten. So we need four more. All right, let's go on. You know what I can do, though? I'm not going to leave my guys without a house. Um, so let's go back to the green gardens. Oops, I meant to. Mm. We could probably build a, a little house right here, right? Just, just temporary for everybody. Go away, ghost. Go get him, Malroth. Man, Malroth. Crushing bad guys. Get him, Malroth. <laughs> oh, he's running now. <laughs> You're not going to get away from Malroth. He's not going to let you get away. All right. Actually, we don't want it to speak. Keep it right there. Let's see if I have any other type of blocks that I can use. Black and bark, that seems fine.
better quit beating up my stuff. Oops, wrong button. What is this? Oh yeah, that's a seed, right? Corolla lily seed. Oh, we got seed. Do I have any? I do have plenty of wood. Can I build without like with out being able to craft, like I don't have a crafting bench, how do I build a crafting bench? How does one do that? I can play that when I have an instrument. You know what? Because we don't have a crafting bench here, what's in this chest? Bark, stony soil, okay. I'll tell you what, let's just go on to the captain. So I'm not going to be here anymore. And they kind of want us to do this before we start building our space, right? Oh, I have a letter. Look. I've got a lot of letters. One is from Clayton. Mr. Snail, since I left the children of Hargon, not a day has gone by that I do not dream of building. This is the guy who was always saying he was just a, he loved the children of Hargon. He didn't want us to build stuff, but he actually wanted us to build stuff, and he was super happy when we did, but then he pretended he wasn't. Remember Clayton? That's, that's the guy. I preach the good word of builderdom at every waking moment. Just the other day, that tomato-loving orc by the bog promised to join me in prayer one day soon. I hope he will become my very first convert to the children of Snail. Steadfastly yours, Clayton. Oh. No, thank you, Clayton. From a wandering wayfarer. Currents washed me here, this foreign land my abode, thoughts of home fading. Memories cling on, nostalgic vistas of old call out to builders. Sailed to bamboo bluffs, natural grace in full view, yours for the taking. Hmm. From a forsaken fisher. Greetings from the Fish Fanatics Paradise. Me and me fishing buddy have been living here for bleeding yonks now, nothing but our rods and the fish for company. We spend our days casting off and waiting for a bite. It's heaven, I tell you. There's just one thing missing. A place for all our fishy friends to live. If a builder reads this, we need your help. Come to Angler's Isle, Sharpish, and build us an aquarium. Ooh, that might be fun. From a mystery modernist. My life's work is complete. My designs are ready. We are teetering on the cusp of a modernist revolution, but I fear the day when a builder puts my designs to practical use will never arrive. The children of Hargon will find me soon enough and erase it all. They have eyes and ears in every corner. The futility of this message is evident, but hope, flimsy as it may be, remains. Well, where is this? He's got all kinds of things for us to learn. Maybe we'll find him when we talk to the captain. Maybe a new island. Ahoy, snail, cries out Captain Brownbeard. Did you read that strange letter I put in your post box? Intriguing, was it not? I expect all that talk of building materials got your bilge pump spewing out new ideas for things to make. I expect you can use a builder's workbench to build a whole range of stuff, just like you always do. Oh, I totally forgot about that builder's workbench below the, the um, tablet. That's right, we have one. And the best thing is that I found the island from the letter Bamboo Bluffs. It was marked on the maps all this time, but I never noticed it till now. I'm sure you'll find all the materials you'll need to build your newly invented items. Come on, have a chart with me when you want to go and we can haul Keel Toot Suite. There's just one catch. I can only plot a course to Bamboo Bluffs once I know where Blossom Bay is. Ask me again when you found it. All right. Okay. I did read the snail. I did read the letters, Captain Brownbeard. Uh, you'll never believe it, but that one letter was rolled upside inside a bottle I brought up, says Captain Brownbeard. And from the look of it, new adventures are under the horizon for you. What was that place called again? Angler's Isle, was it? Well, if you want to j jib over there, I'd be more than scurvy to take you. These are a lot of words that don't need to be used. Captain Brownbeard again uh, wanted to say he dropped a letter in the post box. With all that new furniture and building materials at your disposal, while well, you're practically a modern architect in the making. 
and I reckon your island could do with a little up-to-date, wouldn't you say? But why stop there? Those fancy pants new hairdos of yours need a head. Anything better than a crow's nest out of a barnet? I don't even know what that means. I'm sure you know this already, but you can re recoil for your quiff at the dressing table, and you can build all your new objects at a builder's workbench. Oh, hey, snail. You washed up here at just the right time. We've been talking for like the past five minutes. And Crapton Beard, Crapton, Crapton Brown Beard, Captain Brown Beard, is now just noticing it. Ahoy, ahoy, Tactical Snail. We've washed up here just at the right time. Do you recall that island I told you about? Well, I finally smacked eyes on it. I worked out why nobody's found it till now. The whole place was surrounded by water. A little flying fish told me it's called Crumbledon. Apparently, they've got a mine there that's packed with more precious stuff than you can shake a peg leg at. Pirates have peg legs. Oh, the hairy hermit says, of course, Crumbledum. That name was on the tip, tip, tip of my tongue. The land of golden sands where the soil is stuffed with metal. Just waiting for someone to dig, dig, dig it up. You surely won't have to look far to find cop, cop, copper, silver, or even gold. Perhaps you'll unearth a few friends to bring back here, too. With some more people on board, 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 you'll be able to build this island up even more and in new and exciting ways using the metals and materials you bring back. <laughs> Sounds like just what we need. Come on, Snail. Let's see what we can find on Crumbledon. Oh, there's plenty to see on Crumbledon. The legends tell of rab rab rabbit-eared beauties and mighty mighty miners with muscles on their muscles. What, what, what will it be, Snail? You can keep on constructing here or head out into the wild blue yon yon yonder. If it's yonder you're after, I've already, prod I've already plotted a course, said Captain Brownbeard. Second coffee stain on the left. Round the holes and we'll be there in two shakes of a, of a slack jib. Come on and find me when you're ready to go. Uh, you know what? I want to go, but now that I remembered where I can go to build things, I really need to build these people houses. I just build them houses real quick. Wooden wall. Oh, look at this. So these are all these new things that we can build. And I spend gratitude points to get it unlocked. So I know about all these things. Ooh, a chimney. Diagonal fencing. I thought, I, oh, I, because I don't have it unlocked here. A stove. Look at these neat beds. But really, all I need are wooden blocks. Yeah, I have lots of this. So, let's do this. And then... Where are my floorboards? I already have 137 of those. Okay. So, let's clear some space. And then pull up these floorboards and this soft wood, wherever I put it. There it is, okay. And let's build a home right here for everybody. Up there, I know I've already started one. Excuse me, oh, well, my bad. there. I keep this on a straight line. We need it too, too tall. Everybody's going to be so happy when I put a room. 
room for them. Okay. So let's go ahead and bust that out, because we're going to have stairs. No. That's the wrong one. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Wheat seed. Are we fighting ants? We must be fighting ants. Brittany's not playing. Alright. Now, let's make a door. Unless I have one. I don't see a door. I don't see stairs. Okay. I think we're going to have to kill them zombies. Don't you come over here, zombie. Don't you... Come on, man. <laughs> we win. Where did the stairs go? There they are. All right. You know what? We're going to do two doors because... I want to see how much gratitude this is. Look at that. Look at that. No, no one. No one's, no one's happy about that. All right. <laughs> That's rude. Let's make a bunch of cheap little beds here. We're going to make ten beds. And we need to make some lighting. I think we need tools. Let's just see if we need, if we really need to. Good job, Rennie. That was not where I wanted to be. That is now... Why can't it go up there? Does this make the monsters not spawn? I guess I need the sconce. Like, I can't... Probably probably not a good idea to put... There's a bunch of monsters coming out there. Yep, bunch of ants. Coming to break everything. Brittany. Lots of ants. Give me all of the seeds. Um, and I wanted another door because I wanted to put an entrance in the back. So we'll make one more door. Pick. Okay. Entrance right there. And smash these two blocks out. No, I didn't like that at all. small room. We'll put a light source in there. I'm going to put a bunch of beds. Okay, can't put that there because the door opens right there. Everyone's super excited. Everyone's got a bedroom. Now you can sleep. That's all I wanted to do. I, it took me that long to make one little bedroom. So let's go. Let's get right out of here. Go to the dock. Talk to the captain. 
Oh, snail, where you, where will you be hauling anchor today? You can now travel to Crumbledon. Can't go to Blossom Bay yet. I can go to Crumbledon or Angler's Isle. Let's just go to Angler's Isle and see if we can get a... Uh, a... Um, recipe for an aquarium because that would be really neat. Sail away, sail away. Angler's Isle, a fish fancier's favorite place. I don't know if you spell place that way. Maybe just fancy. Oh, we're so tired. S Captain Brownbeard says, squab me with a squib. Here we are, Angler's Isle. Ahoy, there's someone over yonder. Could that be the person who pinned that letter? Why not lober over there and invoke the right of parlay? I'll stay here and make sure the ship's boat shape. If you want to return to the Isle of Awakening, all you need to do is ask. Okay. Alright, well, I break those barrels and wooden blocks every single time I land on a new island. I don't think we need them anymore. We have unlimited wood at the box. And, oh, look, I've got a we've got a builder's table right here. Oh, look at this. Oh, you can change your look at any time using that. That must be that one, uh, one item. What is this? Read. There's a newish notebook with frolicking with fish written on it. Do you want to take a closer look? Yes. Oh, all the pages are completely blank. <laughs> well, I don't know if that helps us at all. Read. There are some sheets of paper with writing on them. Do you want to read them? Yes. Dear Jillian, when you think about how big all the ocean in the world is, how many new species of fish must be out there worth waiting to be found? Maybe if I caught one, you'd love fish even more than you already do. Maybe then you'd open up a bit. That's why I'm going to set sail for the open sea in search of new fish. I hope you'll wait for me to return home. From your eternal admirer, Ben. Oh, that was a letter to his girlfriend? The message ends here. It seems to have been written recently. What's in this box? What's in the box? I can't believe that bloomin' plonker went and carped it. He proper left me in the lurch this time. Oh, who are you? And what are you doing on the island? It, you're a builder, and you're saying you read me later? Sorry, mate, but I don't know what you're chatting. I ain't written no letters. Look, I ain't really in the mood to natter. Me mate's gone missing, and me nets are knackered. You seem like a nice lad, but do us a favor and jog on, yeah? I didn't come here to make new friends, so just leave me be. Uh-oh, this person seems to have problems. We need to help. I asked you to leave me alone, but you still want to have a chat? Don't nothing phase you, eh? Maybe you can help me out then. Huh. See that netting over there? That's me fish cage. Problem is, it's all broken and I don't know how to fix it. If you really are a builder, why don't you make some netting and fix the damage? Hmm. I learned a new recipe. Netting. Woven string stretched to fashion to form to <laughs> the stretch to fashion a form of see-through wall. Alright, let's fix nets by building some. A uh, new oh look at these. These are consumables. I guess I need a uh A way to play them first before I can. All right, so I made ten nets. Let's go right to work. Try and make this person happy. One net, two nets, three nets, four nets. Let's jump on this right here. Got it. Oh, one more peep. Oh, that's no. Look how bad that looks. That didn't do what we wanted. Yep. 
I want that one. Moves slow like Mario when he's in water. Alright, here we go. Finished. Finished the job, stranger. Gordon Bennett's a barracuda's brother. You fix me fish cage up good and proper. You really are a builder after all. Thanks for that. You might have just saved me bacon there. But if I was a follower of the children, I'd be beating the living daylights out of you right about now. Well, that's good you're not. Lucky for you, I ain't. Anyway, Jillian's the name. I fled me home and come here as far as away as I could get. There ain't nothing to do on this island but fish. So what are you doing all the way out there? Anyhow, are you into fishing too? Yes. Pull the other one. You ain't no angler. You're a fish. I can spot your kind a mile off. Oh, well, I mean, no. We're all about fishing. We just need to be shown how. Tell you what. You can have this. Consider a little thank you present for mending me nets. what I get? Oh, a fishing rod. Yep. Cast a line and lure in some lovely lunkers. Oh, man. Perry's going to be so happy with the fish we're going to catch. We're going to catch so many fish. River or lake or pond or ocean, wherever there's water, you'll find fish. So if you see a wet patch, cast a line and play the waiting game. If you can't find the tool you need, press and hold A and select the one you need from the list. Okay. Fishing rod. Let's go. We don't have time to talk to you right now. We're going to fish. Oh, look, 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 look. Get it. Reel in. Oh, you gotta press A fast. Oh, we got him. First striped beak fish. Put that fish away. Let's see if we can catch some out here. What about in the fishing net? Let's see what we get. There's three looking at it. Perfect hit. We got him. Close. Oh, got him. Another striped beak fish. Okay. Well, let's go to the other side of that. Or how about in here? Oh, they look about the same size. I want to see a big old lunker. Oh, that's one strong. A mackerel. Look at that. We did catch a new fish. All right. Let's talk to Jillian. I don't know what was written in that letter you read, but whoever it said, I can tell it's lit the fish fire in your belly. Want me to teach you the ancient mysteries of fishing? It ain't like I've got nothing better to do. Yes, teach me about fishing. That's the answer I wanted. From now on, you're me apprentice. I'll train you up into a first-class fisher. You'll see. Now, see that rocky bit was jutting out in the sea? That's the best spot on the island for a fledgling fisher to start. So when you're ready, pop over there and cast off. Well, I've already caught three fish. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Once you've caught something, come and show me. I want to see if I was right to take you under me wing. Would you look at that? You were only gone and... Hook yourself a mackerel. This ain't no beginner's luck. You've got the angler's touch. Now you know how to use a fishing rod. You can cast off any place there's water. I'm sure you'll find a fair few, a few, a fair few honey holes where the fish don't ever stop biting. Oh, you want to know why I chose this remote island when I could have fished anywhere in the world? It's because those stinking children of Hargon in it. All their building's bad. Destruction's great. Nonsense was proper starting to peck me at there's no bleeding way I was going to live in a world like that. So I said, I ain't having it, and I legged it. This is where I ended up. Well, I think the letter said that there was somebody trying to get Jillian's attention. I bet you she ran off and searched for him. I've just had an idea, Snail. Want to see something interesting? You know how you fix me nets? Well, I want you to see what happens when you release that mackerel into the fish cage. You won't be disappointed, I promise. If you want a bit more explanation, I'd only be happy to tell you what I know. 
Select a fish, press X to set it free. Okay. We'll take this macro, we'll set it free. There you go. Amazing. What happens now that it's in the fish cage? Nothing, it just kind of hangs out. Okay. Would you look at that? I ain't never seen a happier mackerel in all my days. If you enjoyed that, why not make your own fish cages or tanks and fill them with fish? You could watch them swim about whenever you like them. What could be more relaxing than that, huh? I reckon a builder like you could make some pretty impressive pieces, places to keep fish. The possibilities are endless. What's that? You've got your own island where you make all sorts of stuff with your mates? You've got no excuse then, have you? If I was you, I'd learn everything there was to know about fishing and use that knowledge to become a better builder. Okay. Are we done here? Oh no, she wants to keep talking. I can see it in your eyes, snail. Fishing has got you hooked, but how'd you like to catch something that ain't a mackerel? Word as is, there's something to the tune of 40 different kinds of fish out there. If you thought it finished a mackerel, you don't know the scale of it. Yep, you heard me right. I said 40. That's bleeding loaves, isn't it? So if you want to be known as a master angler, you're going to have to hook the biggest and rarest fish that rivers and oceans have to offer. If you're up for the challenge, we'd best get started. See them rocks over there? Try casting your line off them and see what you can hook. Up to it, then. This is your first step into becoming a real master. Once you've caught something that Anna Mac will bring it here and show me. I mean, I... Blimey, for a second I thought you might be a fish out of water, but the, that prize goes to the striped beak fish you just snagged. You know, because you reeled it in, innit? Now, if you ain't figured it out already, let me explain. You'll catch all sorts of different fish depending on where you cast off from, but if you want to catch the rarest kind, you can't beat the rocks on the seashore. You've really got a knack for this, you know. When I first come here, I never in a million years thought I'd bump into someone like you. If only Finn was still here. That bloke properly had fish on the brain. He'd be overjoyed to see how quickly you've taken an angling, I tell you. If you stand on a rocky area and cast your line into the water, you might catch fish not found elsewhere. Well, let's go here. Is it too far? Oh, that is... Look at that big fish. Go get a big fish. Not a little fish. Big fish. Oh, the big fish. Little fish is strong. What is it? Yep. Clownfish. Hey, I caught Nemo. Let's see if we get big fish. Yeah, big fish. Come on, big fish. Oh, another clownfish. Perfect hit. Come on, clownfish. I bet you it's a clownfish. Another clownfish. No, I want big fish. Wrong button. Can I wade fish from here? No. That would be neat. Let's see here when we get big fish. No big fish. Oh, this guy doesn't want to get caught. Strike big fish. Let's go back to our room. That's where we saw the big fish. I'm never going to see the big fish again, huh? Mauroth is very impressed. There is two big fish. Come on, big fish. Yes. Oh, 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 man. He nearly, oh, he wants to get away. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. 
sunfish. Look at that guy. Look at that big fish. Hey, there's a book over there. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Perfect hit. Oh, but he's very strong. Oh. Man, look at how big that guy is. Alright, let's go over here. I saw this book. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to read this book. There's a book entitled The Angler's Almanac. Do you want to read it? Yes. When I cast my mind back to my youth, I recall an old bodkin who lived on the waterfront. He was potty about fishing and one day took me in this as apprentice. That botkin taught me everything I know about angling. The most important thing I learned from him was that we do not fish with a rod, we fish with our soul. If we follow the fish with our mind's eye, our hearts will tell us when to reel in. That is the true essence of fishing. That bodkin showed me that fishing is like a game we must play with nature. A game we win not with our rod or tackle, but with our hearts. With this in mind, I will now divulge all of the Bodkin's teachings to you, dear reader. I do not claim to be a learned man, but I write this book with thoughts of fishing at the forefront of my mind. I hope avid anglers and future generations will find my words of use. Nosh, Fisherman of Rumeldar. There are many more pages on the philosophy of fishing, each one densely packed with tiny writing. I gently closed the book. Oh, that's nice. All right. I caught a sunfish. If you're wondering who this Finn character I keep banging on about is, well, that's my fishing buddy. He went out on a fishing finding mission and never come back. Good bloke he wasn't all. Bit of a nosy so-and-so, but a mate nonetheless. I'm sad to see him gone, to be honest. You know what? Ever since you caught that first fish, me tummy's been rumbling like nobody's business. Now, you can't call yourself a master angler if you don't know how to cook your day's catch. Why not chuck that striped beak fish on the bonfire and grill me up some grub? Okay. I absolutely will cook a fish. Waiting, 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 waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. Guess we might as well farm some stuff over here. There's some flowers here. Can I take these flowers back? I can. Milk blossom seeds. We are going to have some flowers, friends. I'm in it. I can't stop harvesting flowers. What are these? No. Oh. Okay, let's harvest this. Grilled beak fish. Is that a grilled beak fish you got there? Can I have it? Mm, of course. Cheers, snail. I'll tell you what, you grilled it to perfection, down the hole it goes. That's delicious. I always say that when it comes to fish, you gotta keep it simple and use only the freshest ingredients. I, I just put it on the fire, ma'am. Try chucking in a few veggies and whatnot next time. I'm sure you can come up with some right tasty recipes. Here, take this. You're a decent angler now, but you'll look the part with that on your with that on your bumps. You can get changed at the dressing table over there if you like. I've now got a straw hat I can wear. Okay. Now that I'm full, I feel like doing some more fishing, but I've got a slightly trickier challenge in mind for you this time. You've had it easy up to now, but some fish are slipperier customers than others. If you want to catch the best fish, there's a few techniques you'll need to master first. I want to see if you can catch a rockfish, a clownfish, and a sunfish. Make sure you release them into the fish cage when you're done. You might have noticed that I ain't taught you no secret techniques. That's because I'm a firm believer I'm learning by doing. Still, if you do get in a pickle, I can spare a few words of advice. No fish wants to be caught, but some will even fly into a rage. When this happens, press and hold down hold A and wait for your catch to calm down. Oh, okay.
Did I release the sunfish in here? I did. Here you go. There you go, little sunfish. So I need a rockfish now. I'm gonna release these stairs into the cage. Let's go. Let's see if we can catch a rockfish. The clownfish are the little ones, so I'm guessing the rockfish would be the big one. Perfect hit. Come on, clownfish. I need a rockfish. Little bitty clownfish. I wonder what clownfish is gonna taste like. Let me put that on the grill. These are mackerels or beak fish. Perfect hit. Go over to this one. Beak fish? That's a mackerel, right? Strong. It's a strong fish. Yep. Oh, caught the rockfish. Let's see if I want to catch another one. Because I can grill one. I'll set one free, grill the other one. I need to eat all of these fish. Yay. I haven't really. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> It's, it's in here. Go ahead and select him. Put him in there. There you go, little rockfish. You got a nice aquarium now. What's wrong with the sunfish? Is he stuck? There you go. There you go, big guy. Might need. Do we need some more water in here? Scoop this up. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You got a rockfish, clownfish, and a sunfish in the fish cage, just like I asked, exclaimed Jillian. Now, what you gotta remember when you're fishing are the silhouettes of the fish, their strength, and your fishing location. Don't worry if there's a lot to take in, you'll get the hang of it. You know what I just realized? You've got five different kind of fish already. You picked up the basics faster than I gave you credit for. I don't know if there's anything left for you here no more. One last time. How many kinds of fish have you caught now? Five, was it? Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but that's all the species that live in these waters. But don't worry. Remember what I said. There's 40 different kinds of fish out there. You'll have to travel far and wide to catch them all, mind you. What the heck is that? Look over there, Snail. I swear, I saw a golden glimmer. If that's a fish proper... If it is a fish, it's a rare proper one. A true angler like you can't let a chance like this slip through his fingers, so get over to them rocks and cast off before it swims away. Sure. Let's go. Uh, hurry, hurry. I'm gonna go. Nice one, Snail. I knew you wouldn't pass up an opportunity of a lifetime. Any movement? Oh, I got something. Oh, man, I got something. Here we go. Hold it. Hold it. You got it. A thug's mug. I got a hat. You've got to be kidding me. 
That ain't no golden fish. It's just a grubby yellow mask. I've seen that thing somewhere before. Uh-oh. Now I remember where I've seen that mask. It belongs to Finn, no doubt about it. He went out in search of the new fish, but that poor bloke never came back. He loved that mask, never took the thing off, not even when he was kipping. It ain't on his head. Only mean one thing, geezer ain't in the land of living no more. Losing him's a big blow, but we're anglers at the end of the day. We know the ocean can change its mood in the blink of an eye. At least it's popped its clogs. At least he popped his clogs doing what he loved. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, if you fished up that mask air, Finn's boat can't have sunk too far away. I'd love to give the bloke a proper send-off. Judging by the current current, I reckon the tide must have swept him nearby right over there. If I had to guess, do me a favor and drag him out, will you? <laughs> I'd go myself, but I've got a pathological fear of being submerged in liquid. You understand, yeah? Please, snail, I'm begging you. Duck in the drink, fish my old pal out. It'd mean the world to me. Alright, let's go, Malra. Let's look for him. Here we go. Is he down here? You see him, Alroth? I don't see him. Let's swim up my Ninja Turtle gear. Let's rest for a second. Maybe he's down here? Oh, here it is. Oh gosh, it's like a living nightmare. I don't know quite how much longer I can bear this. Wait, words? I'm in rather the pickle. I s Snail hears a voice coming from under the seabed. He might be able to clear some sand out of the way and find out where it's coming from. I sure can. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's in here. How are you? Oh, look, we found him. Oh, look, starfish. Look what we found. What? Good sir, please do not sneak up on me like that. You gave me such a nasty fright that I nearly had a little accident. But that wouldn't be because I was scared, you see. I've been trapped down here for rather a long time. It's been a while since I, you know... Hold on a second. What's that you have there? I don't believe it belongs to you. It's, it's mine. And I demand that you return it to me this instant. Oh, he needs to put his mask on. Look at him. There he is. The burly beefcake is back to his old self. Lovely jubbly. So who are you two anyhow? Not that it matters. You've seen me mug. I'm afraid I can't let you leave here alive. Y you what? You're a builder? Jillian asked you to come down and fish the corpse of a bloke called Finn at the water? I'm sorry to break it to you, but there ain't no dead bodies down here. Oh, but you're in luck, because I'm Finn. I'm down here because I fell off that boat I was sailing on when I woke up in this cave. It was like the worstest fears had come true. And my mask wasn't on me bonts no more. But then you come and give it back to me. You're a legend. So Jillian's up there, is she? Let's go and say hello. Okay. We're gonna jump up this waterfall. You see that big old clam over there? Let's go see what that guy's about. Oh man, he takes a lot of hits. Oh, that's, I get stone? What is that over there? Look at that, those are, those flowers? Let's rest for a second. 
Did you see these? Ooh. Red seagrass. Yellow anemone. Uh, anemone. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes. Red coral colony. Yellow anemone. Pink anemone. Neat. All right, let's go talk to Jillian. She ran away because it's night. And she's scared. Let's cook a fish. Let's cook. Let's cook a clownfish. I don't want to erase. I don't want to release the clownfish here. I want to cook it there. Oh, you can only cook the, stri the striped and the beak. Okay. Oh, there you are, snail. You brought Finn back with you, and he's alive. I'm back, Jillian. I could never live with myself if I died and left you all alone. Blimey, it ain't half as good to see you, my darling. Oh. Who are you calling darling? Well, Snail, as I'm sure you've heard, that's Finn. Me and, uh, me and him go way back. Looks always kept an eye out for me. When I ran away from the children of Argon, he followed me. Said I need protection. I told him to get out of it. But then he started crying, so I let him tag along. Anyway, thanks for saving me, mate. Means a lot. Here you go. A thank you present. I reckon if you put them swimming shorts on, sorted your, and uh, sorted your hair out, you'd look even better with a fishing rod in your hands. I got a chic swimsuit. The two new hairstyles are available at the dressing table. Oh, and I've got me a new recipe. I can make a chic swimsuit at any time. Complete. Are we done? We're done. Nope. Finn wants to talk to me. Okay, Finn, what's up? So, you're really a builder. I know I owe you one, but I ain't buying that story for a second. Hmm. If you want me to trust you, you have to show me your skills. If you can make me a newfangled kind of fishing spot, there's a chance I might think about maybe believing you're a builder. Hmm. You don't care what I think? A builder don't have to prove nothing to no one? Fine, maybe you can prove yourself as an angler instead. I want you to go to the underground lake on Crumbledon and bring me back some fish. A trio of angelfish, to be precise. And I don't want to see your mug back here till you've caught them. Okay, we can do that. And let's eat this fish. Oh, I didn't tell it to cook, did I? Let's look at this. Let's look at our hairstyles. <laughs> Look at that. I got a pumpkin, a straw hat, ponytail. Well, I don't I don't know if I want to put that on my head. A dandy do. Yeah, I look like Link. I could put on a straw hat. Let's do that. Put on some sunglasses. Yeah, yeah, we're looking good. Yep. Looks good. I'm looking real good. I will bring you back your fish, sir. I promise. I'm just going to eat this, and then I'm going to go right to it. just takes a long time. We're almost there. Let's go ahead and eat this. Oh, wow. My defense increased. Ninja run in my swimsuit. Ahoy there, Snail. Will you be returning back to the Isle of Awakening? There she blows for home. All aboard for a trip aboard. We gotta go home first before we can go to the other one. Okay. We're gonna go to Crumble Bum right now. Can't skip this though. I like that one. 
Oh, wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Hey, Lulu. We're, gonna, we're going right back out, Lulu, I promise. Just got a cool swimsuit. Okay. Oh, it's snail. Where will we be hauling anchor to today? We're going to Crumble Dump. Let's go. Crumble Dump, we go. But I must warn you, this vessel ain't built for chugging cargo. You'll have to leave behind everything you gathered here and fish for more materials when we reach our destination. I safely stowed my stuff in the storage sack. Snail, I take it you're heading off to another grand adventure. We'll be waiting for you to return with new recruits and materials to help us build the best island ever. Fear not, Snail, laughs Bonanzo. I assure you this island will be perfectly safe under my supervision. Go, my boy, and take care. Where is Bonanzo? I hear him. I do not see him. And Perry. If this crumbled up place is anything like Furrowfield, chances are you'll have your work cut out for you. Make sure you come back in one piece. Bon voyage, Snail. We shall keep Lulutopia safe while you're away. I expect you to regale me with stories of your heroic escapades when you return. <laughs> All aboard for trip abroad. Time to set sail, cries Captain Brownbeard. We found a bunch of fish. We got some swimming trunks. We found a guy. And he thought he was going to beat us up. He doesn't know how tough we are. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh, what's wrong? There we go, sailing. Crumbled on the land of golden sands. Oh, man. So this is the land of golden sands that the hairy hermit told us about, eh? This place looks abandoned to me. I doubt we'll find anyone to take back with us, let alone that metal we need, but I suppose it can't hurt to have a quick nose around, says Mount Rock. In that case, I'll hold the port here while you two are off lubbering the land. Just let me know when you're set to set sail back to the Isle of Awakening, and I'll uh, set the sail. Huh? Asked my wife. That was some serious shaking. Something tells me there's more to this place than meets the eye. Come on, Snail. Let's take a look around. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff here on the docks. There is something over here. Some big old logs there. Some dirt piles. Where's this dirt pile? just a bunch of dirt. That's all it is. We don't need it. We don't need it, Mara. We don't need it. Skip it. Alright, fine. I, I want it. Got a bunch of rock there. You know, I'm not sure which is worse. The sticky swamps of Furrowfield or the roasting heat of this deserted desert, says Mara. Hmm. Huh. What have we got here? following. Oh, look. Tracks. Any idea what these planks with strips of metal on top are? <laughs> Rail tracks. You can zoom along them in a cart? Sounds like a right laugh, says Mauro. Oh, another one. These quakes just keep on... What? Uh-oh. Cave-in. Yeah, just our luck. We've only been here two minutes, and we're already in a hole. I hope you're not hurt, Snail, because you're the only one who can build us a way out of this place. Well, we have some... We have some spot. We have some bricks already, so we'll just... Don't tell me. You can't smash this stone to build a staircase out of here, can you? We're in a whole lot of trouble now. Boy, you two all right down there? Who said, look, snail, up there, said Mara. Hmm. Here, take these and build yourself a way back up. I, I have stuff. But I will definitely take that. What is that? Oh, is that? It's sand. 
We're gonna go into first person mode and jump. And push X and push X and push X and push X and push X. See, there we go. We're gonna jump off. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for the assistance. You two alright? Looks like nothing's broken at least. You best be heading home. This island ain't no place for holiday makers. Hey, you aren't here on holiday? You've come to find yourself a few new mates and some metal? Are you asking if I know anyone? I'm not sure I should be telling you. Who are you two, anyhow? You're a builder, asks the stranger. You ain't pulling me leg, are you? But if you're telling the truth, this is very interesting news indeed. I'm Babs, pleased to meet you. Snail, you too, my Roth. If you really are a builder, maybe you can help me with something. Come with me, I'll show you the way. Where are we going? This is really neat. Got a bunch of rail cars, and you see a bunch of scaffolding there. This looks like her little village, her outpost. Welcome to Crumbledon, the land of plenty, says Babs. Around here, the precious stuff just pours out of the ground. Or at least it did, once upon a time. Now we got nothing. Not since the children of Hargon shut down the mine. Now look at the place. You'd never know this used to be a bustling mining town or that the tumble, tumble down bar over there was once the hub of our little community. I've been dreaming of getting the mine open again and giving this town a new lease of life. Now you're here, we can make it happen for real. Hmm. I don't see why you need us so badly, says Malroth. Seems to me like you've got enough people to make a start. If only it was that simple. I could explain, but you'd better... But you're better off getting straight from the horse's mouth. You'll get the picture. Okay. Well, before we start talking to these people, let's uh, let's call it here. And then we'll pick it up tomorrow and get all of these people's stories and figure out what's going on with this town and see if we can help. How we're going to help. Okay? All right. Everybody enjoy your night. I'll see you tomorrow.